Hello, we have future Selena coming at you with not great sound and video quality to just let you know the reason why I have not been able to post many videos recently is because um, I don't have Wi-Fi at my house, which is very fun, not what anyone wants to be dealing with. So things will be a little bit slower to come out, but I'm hoping to get a bunch to catch up this in the next few weeks as long as I get on a schedule proceed with the video. Hi, I'm Selena and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to come out with you with a June TBR video. I stopped doing dedicated TBR videos. I've just been lumping them in with my wrap ups because since I review so many books, like it, I don't have too much to say in my wrap ups. Um, and so I just lump them together. But this month I'm not going to do that because number one, I have uh, lots of books I haven't reviewed this month. So I'm going to dedicate a bit more time to them in my wrap ups. But also, this month is the Olympic Readathon on the Shelf Safe Space server. I can put a link to it. It's the server run by Library of Alexandria, um, and it's it's like a whole team of readathons. If you didn't know about it, I'm sorry, but like you can't be in a formal team now, but um, you can like still watch, I guess. Um, but you can still you know participate if you want to just follow the prompts for you know not a team. Um, but I thought that if any of you are participating, you might want to know what I'm going to be planning on reading for those prompts. And if you're not <laughs> going to participate, but you just want to know what I'm reading, this might be a video for you as well. So I have one book paired for each prompt. Uh, each prompt is based off of a different god or goddess. So I have 16 books here that I'm talking about, but I never read 16. This month I read half that. So I'm not going to get to all these, but a girl can dream. For the Zeus prompt, you are supposed to read a book with a kingdom or a patriarchy in it. And so I picked The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin for this prompt. I was planning on reading this like anyway, I think, but there's kingdom in the title. So I figured I could, you know, get away with picking this one and not knowing too much about it. Um, I, again, I don't know too much about it. This is gonna be my first N.K. Jemisin book ever though. And I'm really, really excited. And I'm pretty sure this is the Discord pick for Murphy's Discord server. So like there will be a lot of other people reading this book, which is going to be fun. The second prompt is Poseidon, read a book with water in it. Uh, and so my the book I picked for this is Treasure Island by, oh no, Robert Louis Stevenson. That's who it is. I have never read this book. This is one of the children's classics I haven't read yet. And I really would like to. It's very short. I've had it on my TBR for ages. I would just like to get it off my TBR. It's short. It's got water in it. It's pirates. What else can I ask for for Poseidon? So I hope I'll be able to get to this this month. Then on to my personal team's prompt, Hades. I'm on team Hades. The prompt is read a book with a ghost or undead themes. Um, so I'm going to pick the sequel to The Never Tilting World, which I don't actually have the sequel with me right now, but the sequel is called The Ever Cruel Kingdom. And there's already ghosts in The Never Tilting World, but the the name of the underworld in this world is called The Cruel Kingdom. So I am hoping, since the title is called The Ever Cruel Kingdom, we will be seeing some, some more ghosts and undead and maybe going to the underworld. And I think that that, you can't get more Hades than that. Number four is Hestia and Hestia's prompt is read a book with a found family. So the book I have picked for that is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This has a found family in it. It says on the back, literally like she, this girl like joins a ship uh, that's heading across the galaxy and the crew becomes kind of like family. So that I think is gonna do it for that prompt. I'm very, very excited to read this. I've heard such good things about this book, so I will be reading it. The fifth prompt is Hephaestus. And for this prompt, you have to read a book with fire in the title or on the cover. I think like something like flames could also work. But for this one, I picked a book I've been meaning to read and dying to read for months now. And that is Hollow Pox by, what's her name? Jessica Townsend. Um, and clearly in this UK cover, uh, Morgan is writing flames, it looks like. I think that counts as flames, right? That's flames. So anyways, I'm gonna be reading this for that prompt. I'm super excited. This is the third book in one of my favorite series so far. Y'all know I've loved the Nevermore series this year. If you haven't picked it up, you should. And I'm so excited to read this third book. The next prompt is Dionysus, who is the god of wine. So you are going to pick a book with red or white on the cover or like a red and white cover. So I picked Ring Shout by P. Jelly Clark. I have loved this man's works so much. 
Um, and I was recently sent this by my friend Udi and it has both red and white on the cover. I believe, I, I know somewhat about what this is about. I believe it's about a world where um, like very like hateful people call, like who, who have joined like the Ku Klux Klan and other like hate groups like that turn into actual monsters or they are actual monsters and we follow a monster hunter in the world. I trust this author so much and this is the book that I hear the most hype around for this author's work. I highly recommend the Adead Jin and Cairo series, but I still really want to read this. And if, if I love this, he might become like an autobi author. Like we might be at that place where he is a favorite author of mine. If this can be good, I, I want to read multiple works from an author, like in different series or different standalones or whatever. And so if this is amazing, we might have a new favorite author on our hands. Hermes is read a book involving a uh, travel, vacation, or a quest. Um, so I actually have a couple choices for this. The first one is The Martian by Andy Weir. I'm currently reading that and it's pretty good. It's, uh, I think there's journey in it. I was told there's journey in it. Um, I don't know too much about it so far, but basically we follow a man who is stranded on Mars um, after a, like his, his crew like leaves him behind thinking he's dead. And it's about them like frantically trying to get him back while he is trying to survive. Um, it's pretty good so far. It's not, there's, there's not a lot happening right now where I'm at, but I'm excited to keep going with it. Everyone loves this book, so I'm excited to see why. And then I also have a couple others for that prompt. Um, the Jewel of the Endless Erg, uh, which is the sequel to Into the Labyrinth, which is the first book of the Mage Errant series. This is the second book in that series. It's like a self-published YA fantasy that has like a magical school. And it's about these kids who, they have magical powers, but they're kind of like faulty. Like they, they aren't, they don't work the same way, like the normal way that other people's magical powers work and their school has failed to accommodate them. And so they're failing. And they basically are taken in by an apprentice who feels that they can be taught and helps them master their magic in new ways. And it's just such a wholesome, amazing series, whimsical, magical, uh, hard magic system that retains all the whimsy. I love this series so far. I gave the first book five stars and I'm super excited to continue with the Jewel of the Endless Erg, I've already started it. And then the third book I have for Hermes, because I'm a bit excessive, is Journey to the Center of the Earth. Um, and this one I definitely am going to be reading this month because it is the pick for me and my friend Ray's uh, book club called the Asteroid B612 Book Club. I will have the Goodreads group linked down below and my if you can find it on my Discord, that's where we read it all together. Um, so I think there's a few people who are going to be participating in Journey to the Center of the Earth this month and I'm super excited about that. Yeah, all I know is this one has dinosaurs and Ray and I love dinosaurs, so we're excited to see how this goes. Next we have Artemis, which is read a book with moon or night in the title slash on the cover. So I picked Moonstruck for this, which is like volume, it's it's a whole graphic novel series, but I'm, or I'm just doing the first volume, Moonstruck, like magic to brew or something. Um, and this one, I don't know much about it other than there's like maybe a werewolf and a, sh a food shop. I was originally going to use this for another prompt, but it, I have another one for that one. So it'll work fine for Artemis. It has moon in the title. Um, yeah, I, I'm super excited for this. It'll be quick. It'll be a quick read. And I can, you know, I can tell you more about it once I know more about it. <laughs> and the, we have Apollo, who since he's the god of poetry, the prompt is read a book in a non-traditional uh, format. So like a graphic novel or a poetry book or a novella or something. So I've actually chosen two for this. One of them's actually already done. And that is the Tea Dragon Tapestry by Kay O'Neill, the third and final uh, graphic novel in this series about the tea dragons. It was precious, I loved it, and um, it counted for my Apollo. And then I actually have another one to get to if I have time, um, Artificial Condition, the second in the Murderbot series. That's a novella, it's very gonna be very quick listen. And if that will count for the prompt, then I can get some points for that. Moving on to Ares, who's a god of war, so the prompt is read a military-centered uh, fantasy book, I think? Yeah, fantasy or sci-fi book. And so I had a couple choices for this, uh, but I think the one I'm going with is The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. I believe this is a war book. Yeah, legends tell of the great long ago battle of the gods. Now as whispers of war echo over the fjords and across the plains, fate follows in the footsteps of three warriors. 
Um, yeah, I feel like this should count as a military book. I don't know. We will see when I read it, but I'm going to count it and try and read it for this prompt. Editing Selena again. I lost the footage for me talking about my pick for Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty. You're supposed to pick a book with a beautiful cover to read. And so I picked Piranesi by Susanna Clarke. I just think that the coppery foiling on here is just so beautiful and the pages are great the end pages are great i'm holding this with one hand so i can't really show you the end pages are great and the naked hardcover is great Ooh, that little goat anyways i just really think this book is very beautiful and so that's why i've picked it for aphrodite Moving on to the next prompt, which is Hera. Read a book with a queendom or matriarchy in it is Hera's prompt. So the the Never Tilting World series, if you want to, want to read something for this prompt, that definitely fits this. But since I'm trying to like pick a different one for each one, um, I am going to pick Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Preto. So this is a YA fantasy that I've been wanting to get to and not gotten to. I didn't have time to get to last month, and I know it's about two sisters, uh, one of which who is maybe royalty, one of which who's a phoenix rider, and I, I don't know anything else about this book, to be honest, but I am excited to give it a go. Then for Demeter, which the, the goddess of the harvest, um, she her prompt is pick a book with food on the cover. So I'm gonna pick a very Greek inspired book, uh, Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. I have the UK cover and the UK cover has those grapes on it. So I'm gonna use this for my prompt and I've already started like the first couple pages and it's good so far. I love Greek myth retellings. This is a retelling of the story of Ariadne and like Theseus and how she helped Theseus and was left on an island and stuff. So I'm very excited to hear it from her perspective in this book. Then for Athena, goddess of like strategies. The prompt is pick a book with political intrigue in it. And so the book I picked for that is The Jasmine Throne by uh, Tasha Suri. And this I believe is a, I believe this has political intrigue, but I don't, haven't heard too much about this book yet because it is a new release. And I'm hoping, I did pre-order it. So I'm hoping that when it gets here and I can read it, it will fit this prompt. It also is a beautiful cover. Um, I mean, look at that. I've put it on the screen. It's gorgeous. I'm so excited for The Jasmine Throne. It can't get here fast enough. And then for Eos, which is the goddess of dawn, the prompt is read a book that is the first in a series or a duology, like a trilogy, duology, whatever. Um, and so I picked Zero G by Dan Wells for this one. I don't know if I'll get to this one, but I hope I can because my friend Udi has been dying for me to read this series since he read it. He loves these series, the series. He's super excited for me to read it. He's already said that to me. So I don't want to, you know, disappoint him any further and not read it. So I'm super looking forward to listening to this on Audible. It's a very short audiobook. So I'm hopefully gonna get to this at some point in the month. And then the final prompt is Nyx, who is the goddess of night. And to kind of go with the Eos prompt, it says, read a book that is the last in a series or duology. And for this one, I'm gonna go with The Lost World by Michael Crichton. This is the second in the <laughs> Jurassic Park duology. I have not read this one. I read Jurassic Park a couple months ago, loved it. It's still one of my favorite books of the year. And I have a review for it actually but I have not yet read The Lost World, and so hopefully I will be getting to that this month because it is time that I finish this duology. So those are all the books that I'm gonna be trying to read for the Olympic Readathon. Let me pick them up. These are all the books that I will be trying and probably failing uh, to read for the Olympic Readathon. It's not even all of them, it's just some of them, but we'll go with it. <laughs> uh, wish me luck, let me know which ones of these are your favorites or which ones you're planning to read as well. Uh, let me know if you're participating in the readathon and what team you guys are on because we've got to get it together and beat Team Zeus at whatever cost. Um, and I'm really excited to participate and read a bunch of these books. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!